Hello there, Libra. Welcome to your 222-2021 portal reading. This is what you need to know right now. They have been mostly eight cards. Oh, there's our first card. Mostly eight cards. Um, and then two Moonology cards. And there's Moonology. And then... Uh, hidden worlds oracle and there is hidden worlds so one of those two of those eight of the light seers tarot first card up the emperor well here we go right off the bat <laughs> okie dokie then and again welcome to for uh to my channel oh you got Three more cards are really quick. Next card is the Three of Wands. Next card is Justice. Next card is Seven of Cups. <laughs> okay. I am a psychic, physical, empath, medical medium, uh, channeler, uh, regular medium, Eight of Cups and soul guide, psychic advisor, ascension guide, animal communicator, and I'm also an artist. Uh, judgment, straight up. So I do distance energy healing, ton of swords. Awesome cards here. And my Evolve Now program is for healing on every level. And I offer two hour free video, um, yeah, video consultation with a mini healing. So if you're interested in that, go to my website, thehealingbutterfly.org. And King of Wands in reverse. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. The Emperor, Three of Wands, Justice. Excuse me. Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, Judgment, Ten of Swords, and King of Wands. So it's really interesting here how we have the Emperor and then the King of Wands here. Uh, I'm just, I just noticed that kind of immediately. Um, and Interestingly, Libra getting the justice here. Justice cards with the scales. I'm sure you noticed that. So definitely coming into balance. And <laughs> there's a lot, I'm hearing there's a lot to sort out. But you're, you're realizing as you go forward here that there is a lot to sort out and to get into balance more than you probably recognized at first. And trust me, it is always like that. <laughs> it's like that for everybody. Every single person it's like that with. They, it's layers, it's peeling off layers. Let's start here with the emperor. I'm thinking here. I'm getting a lot coming to me, so hold on. Okay. 
So I'm seeing the emperor uh, really like coming into this time period, like you are, or you have been really contemplating really in a, in a time of contemplation. Um, I'm being guided to get into the book here. This is actually a new tarot deck for me. I mean, I've been working with tarot for several years now, but I just got this deck and I really, really like it. And I think it's easy for people to um, <clears throat> relate to it. Uh, maybe the traditionalists don't like it, but for those of us who read um, not only traditional meanings, but also very intuitively, uh, and psychically and picking up and hearing and feeling and seeing and all of that, aside from just placement and what the traditional card says, it's a cool, any kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, any kind of different type of deck other than the traditional, um, like Hermetic Tarot or the, the writer, you know, the writer weight tarot, uh, have very different visuals to tap into. So uh, as a reader, I get guided to use certain decks at certain times and it was guided to, and, and what decks to get to begin with. You know, I've seen a lot of decks that I thought were really cool looking, but I wasn't guided to get, to get them. So, and then I've seen other, other decks and I was immediately guided to get them. So this is one of those decks. It's the Light Sears Tarot really new to me. I've only seen one other reader with it, and that is Gareth Hudson. And you can find his channel, Gareth Hudson Tarot on YouTube. He's a really great reader and his reads are fast, whereas mine take a little bit longer. So if you're in a rush, he's the guy for you. You get your info really fast and he's super accurate. He'll probably resonate. Um, Okay, so wants me to read here. So it has two aspects here, light seer and shadow seer. And so we're gonna start with um, light seer. The divine masculine authority, power, a natural leader, structures, uh, strategic and analytical thinking, taking action, promotion. And the shadow seer side is unchecked power, being overly pragmatic and rigid, corruption, selfishness, defensiveness, a desire for control, being stubborn. <clears throat> uh, so there's a little blurb here, like a little mantra. I lead this, I lead the circum, sir, I can't talk. I lead the circumstances in my world with confidence, harmony, and generosity. Um, First time I've ever been guided to read from the book for this. I have looked through it myself, but I've never read read from it in a reading, but I go to the books all the time if I'm guided to. So uh, I feel like I'm talking to more of a divine masculine here and <clears throat> or a female who is very feminine and needing to balance out it could go either way actually so it could go either way you're either a a divine fe you're a female and or divine feminine a male and or divine masculine depending on how you see yourself and it's time to, I think you recognizing that you're way too much leaning in one way over the other. And something to, let me read. I have found this article the other day and it was, I have this, me, this meme here. So masculine qualities, logic, reason, action, firm, survival, loyal, adventurous, rational, and strength. Those are the the positive aspects of divine 
masculine and feminine is intuition, nurturing, healing, gentle, expressive, wise, patient, emotional, flexible. Um, it's very different in energies. There's more to it than that, but that, I thought that was a cool. So logic, reason, action. Um, it can also mean just being very contemplative. Oh, I need to get my touch here. See what I'm doing. It um, also represented representing being very um, contemplative and you know just spending time thinking about the situation, what's going on, uh, how you've changed on the inside, what's changed on the outside. And now I think you're thinking, um, I'm kind of literally seeing this like, recognizing how important it is to get out into nature and travel so and travel might be hard these days but it is what's going to balance you if you can get like i'm seeing beaches here like this is coming off as a beach to me i'm not sure if it's supposed to be but especially in this reading it's fe feeling very beachy I even this right here I'm feeling like he's just like right inside like here's the door to the outside and this is like right outside like he could be right inside like a sliding glass door or French doors to the beach I'm not like picking up on this or maybe maybe even live at the beach but it feels really more to me like You've been thinking about traveling, traveling to a tropical area, traveling to the beach. Maybe even people on, online are really inspiring you. And because of the pandemic, maybe the circumstances are that you can do that. Um, and so I really think that this is something that you should really consider doing but there's still some work here because this uh, this kind of busyness is like there's a lot there is a lot to sort out I'm hearing that again there's a lot to sort out and um like cutting cords healing that sort of thing clearing grounding with Gaia so it's a theme that keeps coming up and for more information on cutting cords, I have an ebook. I have um, a few podcasts starting with podcast number 84. And then I have a actually a guided meditation um, that I facilitate very healing. It's more like a healing, a self healing practice that I guide you through than a meditation. I think that it really downplays the intensity and how effective and how awesome it is by calling it a meditation if you can first with you but that's kind of what people call stuff so uh check that out go to my website look at the ebook and all of it is free so it's not like i'm advertising here to make money it's just information it's what's coming through um there's just a lot to sort out before, so you can be lighter. I'm hearing you need to get lighter. We need to balance you out. You need to get going. When you balance you out, you need to get lighter from all this busyness here. So you can get on your way, start releasing energies. Judgment is about an interesting card because it's about resurrection. It's about a new you. It's about beginnings. It's about releasing the old and becoming something different. Um, <clears throat> like this, I love this. I love this artwork so much. Oh my God, I love this artwork so much. It's so beautiful and hopeful and just amazing. In this, um, in this deck here, this is, I was gonna be like, oh, I just want to go over. Um, in this deck here, I'm going to say, if it's like one of the first cards I see, that would be pretty awesome. It's never the one you're looking for. 
you will find. And it's like impossible. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's impossible to find a card you're actually looking for. So in that deck, though, it's like darkness and a beautiful white dove just rising from the from the darkness. So pretty. It's all animals. Um, so a beautiful card. It's a beautiful energy with judgment. And that is what's in store for you, but there's definitely business that needs to be released. And um, this is a 222 portal um, coming up. We just had the new moon on the 11th, 11 days later, we have the portal on the 22nd. So in between this time is really, really important for doing as much healing work as you can, as much clearing, as much cord cutting, Again, if you don't know what that is, or you think you do, or you've had bad experiences trying to cut cords, or you've given up or whatever, please, please, please check out my information and my, uh, the, the healing practice meditation, because it's, uh, it's just about bringing your energy back and you bringing that life force back into you. It's your power. And there's, there's, I'm not seeing anything specific. Um, you need to do your inventory for your, for your life to figure out which people you need to reset energies with slash cut cords with people that are no longer in your life, reset energy with energies with people who are in your life. Um, and I'm hearing exes. If you're a parent that still that co-parents with an ex, you definitely should reset energies there. Things have been tense during the, the pandemic I'm seeing. Things have just been more complicated, more tense. Um, <clears throat> for anybody, that's just one example. It's just one little scenario that I saw passing through here. Because when I start digging, I'm like, oh, okay, I need, you know, give me some more information. So I saw parenting, co-parenting. Um, but just the normal you know, life stuff that happens, relationships that have ended. But basically you start thinking about from the time you were a child, you know, coming up, what sticks out, good or bad, and then what, um, you know, good or bad, positive, negative, you know, what carries the negative charge in you? What, what, when you think about it, are you like, yeah, that happened, but, or, you know, that person did whatever, or this situation happened, or there was this event and it used to, <clears throat> it used to be very traumatic for me, but now I'm just kind of, you know, neutral about it, healed from it. So that necessarily wouldn't be something at the top of the list to cut cords with. If you think about an event, and then you're like, oh my God, it causes me so much anguish and hurt and pain. That is definitely a situation, a person experience, a trauma, an addiction, even if you've gotten over it. Um, even if it was somebody that you are super tied to that you finally released, you let go of, you gave up on, you got into balance and whatever, but there's, there's still that like, oh, so much time was wrapped up into that, or, you know, there's still some type of like negative charge to it. Definitely um, want to cut cords there. And just typically uh, cutting cords with parents, with children, even like children, children, <laughs> and don't even have to be adult children, although that really works. I won't get into details, but I was going through a tough time with my son. Um, and I cut cords with him. And then a couple days later, we were, we were speaking, let me put it that way. So it really works. It was, I was, I was, and I wasn't in shock to see his text. Let me put it that way. I was like, look at that. <laughs> I think not. Um, it's a real thing. So 
it's a good idea to do with the people closest to you, the people that you've had close relationships with, especially sexual partners in the past. And you can batch, um, you can batch things. So anyway, I'm not going to get too far into that. This will be really, really long. Um, so just please look into it, please, 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 because we want you to leave, look at this, one bowl here, one bowl with the eight of cups versus with the seven of cups, we've just got this like whole, like, oh, look at all this business happening. Look at all this to sort out, to get out of your way. So you can, like, this is the higher perspective and you're down here. And then this is finally like you releasing stuff, working with a higher perspective. And now you can, it's made room for you. You can go. It looks like a very, like just different perspectives. You want to see it that way. See that? So that is where you're headed. And uh, you're headed towards balance, but there needs there this needs to happen. And you're you're aware that you need to balance your your inner and your outer, your masculine, and your feminine, and that you're out of balance in that regard. And I think that this has a lot to do with that. I think that there was like a, a this is me persona, and it wasn't like, it tried to stay in balance. I think for everybody that for yourself, it was like, what is my balance? What, what even is that? And a lot of us don't even know because we are empaths. We are light workers. We take on the energy of others. And I think that's, that's some of it here too, is just, you know, that's where the energy healing comes in. There's just a lot. It's like in between the actual, I've never seen it like this before. Interesting. But in between the actual, um, people or events that, that these cups are represented and what's underneath all of that, you have all of this stuff, which are, you know, the water, the waves, but in, in this case, representing just fogginess and energy, just by, just because you're, you're an empath and a, and a light, or maybe you're not a light seer yet, but you're meant to be. And it's just really hard to, to really figure out, um, you know, the ins and outs of really what makes you tick with all this extra energy. And that's where clearing out your energy, doing energy healing, doing a lot of meditation. Um, that's also part of this too. Like she's in a very meditative state feels like to me here. Um, you want to turn this in reverse, like seeing, seeing with your eyes closed for the balance is what I'm hearing here. And, and really releasing and really coming up and out of the old into the new. And then here we are again, taking off. Ten of swords can represent a lot of chaos, but really here with this deck, it, what it's saying is you're starting to really get connected to your, to your guides. They're coming in closer. They've been close, um, but it's, it's just, it's very intuitive at this point, very intuitive. There isn't a, a real kind of, I know who they are. It's very familiar. Like I'm, I'm, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's like the beginning stages. This is about like starting, you know, to being contemplating, waking up, knowing you need to balance the divine feminine, the divine masculine, realizing you need to get out in the world and the nature more, may want to be traveling in order to do all that and get lose some baggage. Um, that would be good to do. And then we have this King of Wands. Um, and what's interesting here is that, like I said, it's just, I know they're not, they're not the same. And that, I, and that's the point here too, but they're as close to each other as, as they could be. 
with the emperor also being um, represented by the lion. So there really isn't another card in the deck that I can think of other than the king of wands that would be the like the the like the the same the twin aspect here. Um, I feel like for some of you, it'll be really coming into more of your uh, feeling your soul, feeling that higher aspect. Uh, and that's the goal, really. But I also feel like for some of you, it's about uh, connecting with somebody that would be what what would be considered your your balance your balancer now this could be a friend a business partner or somebody romantic okay it doesn't necessarily mean um uh, you know a love thing but i'm feeling that there's a person coming or a situation for you that's coming, that's gonna really help your progress, take you to the next level. Um, help you find that and, and move on into your next phase. Remember, this is a divine union portal. It's for divine union. So the fact that we have this going on is very telling. Um, and maybe this could be a friend you already have <coughs> and you get into it could already be a best friend of yours. Um, or somebody that you knew from long ago that pops up again. They're not yet here. Because this is kind of future time. This is where you are. It's like past, present, future going on here. So you're not here yet. Or we haven't gotten that epiphany, that aha moment, that whatever um, with the person that you already know. Could be a business, business partner, family member, friend, best friend type of person. Somebody you knew from the past. It has been gone, hasn't, they're just not. Uh, present. I feel though that it's more a new person, but it definitely can be an old person. It can be either. Um, but that something shifts and changes and, and there's just some type of Um, could be a business, an idea of, you know, some type of something that gets things going. It's like, oh, this is, this is a great idea. Let's do this. And um, that could be part of it too, but You're just more coming in with with this with this dude. Um, so I'll just let it bake a little bit. I <laughs> feel there's I feel like there's more here. Uh surrender to the divine, the full moon. Ooh, that is really powerful. Surrender to the divine. Talking about divine union. Um Oh, my God. this card has come up in every single reading. I'm not kidding. At this point, it's like, okay. Uh, <laughs> unbelievable. Nothing will come of this situation. The void, of course, man. 
I shit you not in every single reading. Um, oh, I'm supposed to do another one, take another card for this reading. And if it's the other one that's always come up, which is, I'll just tell you right now, the Saturn full moon was the other one. <laughs> Believe in the impossible. Oh, that's wonderful. Blue moon. Believe in the, look at it. We have three full moons here. Wow. Wow. We have three full moons here. Look at that. So we have the nothing will come of this situation with the void of course moon. And what that means is when we're in between uh, signs with when our moon is in between signs, we're not in, we're, we're in a void. So that means that like, you don't have the power of any planet and any to, to be connected to. So there's just not a whole lot going on there. It's a like, let it be in between, but it also has been coming um, through mostly as you're not going to get past here until you deal with this. Come up in every single reading. And it, what it means is you just, you have to do this energy work, this healing work, this cutting cords business. If not from the stuff that I have out there, then from someplace else, but I hope it's a very loving, um, it's all very loving because a lot of this cutting cord stuff is using scissors and swords and it's very violent. And that's not what we do at all. It's extremely peaceful and loving and empowering and healthy and just a lovely, lovely thing to do for yourself and everybody else. So, <laughs> oh my God, the odds, I'm telling you right now, every single one of these. Um, so far, every single one of these. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop. Uh, believe in the impossible because it's clearly a thing. Um, I think this whole thing is going to be so like windy, dare I say, and I don't necessarily mean that it's that I'm talking about a twin flame. Uh, it could, you know, a lot of people get confused about twin flames and soulmates. I have an article on that, by the way, on my medium.com. Um, highly suggest you take a look at it. Uh, it's everything you want to know about soulmates and twin flames. And so when I tend to say twinsies, I don't necessarily mean twin flames. Although it definitely could mean that. It definitely could mean that. It definitely could mean that. That that's that it's not far off from here. Again, we are at the divine union portal where the twos are like if we extrapolate what two is, it's two ones. So you have your pillars, your pillars of creation. We, the incarnates, the light workers, we're the pillars of creation. So this is two, two, two. It's just amplified to bring and 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 mesh those energies and that's why this whole month i've been bringing through um in my on my podcast my articles my youtube putting it everywhere um information for us to integrate and then i've been doing these meditations um the new moon starting was amazing with a shit ton of like we're in a light chamber so much activations and, and light work done just thinking about it gets me like starting to vibrate. Not that I wasn't already, but um, then we did the abundance clearing and um, healing the money wound meditation on the 13th. And then for today, it was love, uh, body love activation and um, meet your guardian angel. 
And so I'm going to be doing one later on this evening. It's already eight o'clock. So I'm going to be getting to that right after this reading, doing a meditation, posting that for tomorrow, the 15th. And I'm going to be doing them every single day um, as I'm guided. But we have so much, so much, we have the stellium, uh, the Aquarius stellium, six planets, including our moon that was on the new moon uh, in Aquarius, along with five other planets and the Stargate just ended. Again, we have the portal uh, on the 27th is the full moon. And that is, that's uh, gonna be another, it's like I see these these like four big booms this this month. We have the whole portal between two two and two twelve. We had the stellium. We have Mercury retrograde. We have we had um, uh, then we have the two twenty two and we have that full moon. Oh, on the twenty seventh is actually um a power ascension day. So it's another big boost in energies coming to us and it happens to be a full moon. So that is really like a lot happening all in alignment for rebirth, renewal, resurrection. Um, this whole thing for sure. And um, divine union, because we need to be clear within ourselves to be able to get into alignment with somebody who's going to be, or people, I should say, because this, I think also represents not just one person, but like your entire, like all the people, your spirit tribe, who's supposed to be, you know, like part of your, part of your, um, yeah, your spirit, your not spirit tribe, but your soul tribe here, your soul tribe here. Um, so it's not just one person, it's like activating like the whole, all, everybody. So, um, yeah, so believe in the impossible, nothing will come of this situation until we clear stuff and then surrender to the divine. It's, it takes some practice to get out of your own way and make yourself, uh, have continuously have faith but what's really cool about it is the more you do it the more you're shown that it's a good thing to do because it works out the least the least amount that you that you worry the better so worry fear anxiety stress doesn't does not help anything in fact it closes the doors to abundance and all sorts of light coming through because you start going negative start having having a negative charge because you're you're upset about stuff or you're worried about stuff whatever the case may be um you're overthinking you could be just it's just empathic stuff that you're taking on and maybe you're starting to also realize that that's it's not um it's not all you and you'll understand that even more as time goes on because you'll be so clear of all this that when you're like this, you can really feel what's around you. Whereas here, somebody could walk right up to him. He wouldn't even know because there's so much going on that he has to pay attention to energetically that he, whereas here, I mean, somebody from miles away, she's going to be like, who's that? And that's kind of the thing when it comes to energy clearing and healing, especially on the level that I do it, um, we work at with the Evolve Now program, phase one and two, uh, because you just, off so much fat from the system you literally go from this to this but the first step would be cord cutting it always is it always is okay let's get a card here mountain lights mountain lights how beautiful is this Light beings, portals, subtle energies. Oh, that is so cool. It's been a while since I've seen this card. Oh, it's been a while. Card number 29 or 11 or a two. So there's a message there being shown. One page. Oh, it's a mirror. Oh, that's interesting. Page 20. Card number 29 is on page 92. <laughs> 
another mirror. Uh, so we got a lot of a lot of 11, 11, 11. So there we go. Being told. Light beings portal subtle energies in the in between places the beings of the hidden worlds can make their way into the world of this planet through portals. They come in simple forms of light offering energy to the natural world in this time of change on our planet. They assist all who care for the planet and who wish to be a part of her evolution. You who, sorry you who see this message now are a pure are a part of the collective chosen to do the work that has seen the planet survive more than one time of great danger. So talking about light workers, you need only hold the space for love, for vibrational energy, which is pure and high to maintain peace and a calm in your own self, which will have a soothing effect on all around you. This is no complacent peacekeeping, nor is it ignoring the crisis this Mother Earth now faces. It is to hold a space in which hope can be kept alive so the beings of light can continue to come through the sacred places, the portals of the hidden world, and make their way to the trees and the animals and the plants and the waterways through the air and deep into the very clay of the earth and help purify her, heal her, sustain her. Hold this loving light energy within yourself. Speak from the heart. Keep kindness close to you. Show the way through being the alternative. Break the chains of anger and sadness that seek to enslave your spirit, to overwhelm you. At this time, let lightness be the way. Have a soft touch, a kind gaze, and a warm heart, and keep the pathways alive for the light to do her sacred work. Wow. Okay. Illumination. Light workers assist in keeping open the pathways for light beings to help heal this planet. Keep the living light inside you alive. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I love it so much. So juicy. So good. And they're saying, oh, they're saying that, oh, oh, look at this. Oh my God. They're saying that all of these like happening cosmically this month is to balance Libra is just helping the like whole sign of Libra is helping to balance out these energies coming through just FYI. But um, yeah, like there's also saying as I read this, it was like, you know, the message here is that you've been doing this, you've been working so hard to get into a higher vibration and you have done um clearing and healing so it's not like you haven't but there is more to do like you have worked on cleaning your diet and exercising and getting people out of your life or you know at least beginnings to do that um most likely you have changed a lot already you're just you're you're in this transitional period still we all are <laughs> we all are. and um, they're saying that with the energy coming in, it's all about this amplified, it's, it's amplifying this right now. And so we have a thing with, with me and my healings. When we heal one, we heal all. And every healing I go into, we, we bring in the entire, we bring in Gaia and their, the entire world into the healing with every single one that we do, because that's what it's all about. And as we do that, each person is their own portal and point of contact of light from that point forward. And um, to keep your own portal, your own vessel as clear as light as possible allows for the divine to come in. So surrendering to the divine is recognizing that you are the divine. And in a human body, we're meant to reflect, I'm being shown here, reflect the divine light that is, that is between the world of, of, of the lower, or, or sorry, of the higher of us, the higher, you know, our higher soul aspect, let's say, and what is us in body. 
So let's put it, so let's see this like that. Remember I said at the top, this could also be you. So this is showing me that when we're talking about that divine union, divine union, the number one most important divine union is with you and your soul, you and your body, you and your mother earth. Those are the, that's the, the most important to begin with. And then it's anybody on the outside or people on the outside, a soulmate, a relationship, a romantic relationship, the love relationship or any of that stuff. Um, in this point in time, like the, the meanwhile, especially for us light workers that are in the know, the meantime, meanwhile, of just being with somebody for the sake of, you know, having a experience or being with somebody, that's just not the way of it anymore. Like that's just, we need, we, it's better to be alone. It truly, truly is. It's better to be on your own so you can work on yourself. Um, okay, we're done here. This is, clearly this is long enough. Um, so there you go. I hope that this resonates with you. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know how this reading feels for you. Share with your fellow uh, Libra friends and family, if you have them, just remember you're, you're doing good work. You just need this, just you're on the way. Um, and, you know, your time of contemplation is, it's, you're in a forward moving time now. So, and maybe even traveling or going to place tropical, little, literally. Um, backpacking or you know that sort of thing or just venturing out more on your own around where you live that could be part of it too okay thank you Libra for being here I appreciate it good luck peace out remember visit me on my on my website thehealingbutterfly.org I'm here to assist if you're so guided bye peace out <laughs>